Welcome to the channel. My name is Matias. Today we're going to talk about Avenging Spider-Man issue 17. Now this takes place during the Superior Spider-Man era. So just in case for those who don't know, Spider-Man is Dr. Octopus or Doc Ock inhabits Spider-Man's mind. It's complicated. Comic books. The thing is that the Fantastic Four have called on Spidey. They need a favor. When Spider-Man arrives, he thinks he's going to have to help him lead a mission or do something really important. I just love Doc Ock's interior monologues where he considers Reed Richards the only one on par with his intelligence. So Spider-Man arrives and he's received by the Fantastic Four that this lineup I'm not familiar with at all. The team is Ant-Man, Medusa, She-Hulk, and a young lady using a thing suit. It's sort of funny because not even Spider-Man knows who this lady thing is. So what happens is Spider-Man finds out that the mission that they have for him is that he has to take care of the kids of the Future Foundation. And Spidey wants nothing to do with this, but he does accept because he could get into the Baxter building and check out all the fantastic technology that they have. So what happens is Spidey's having a real hard time taking care of these kids. But the thing is that he does start to meet these kids, learn who they are. And he's fascinated specifically with one of these kids. His name is Bentley. He seems to be a clone of Doctor Doom and he seems to be up to no good. Spidey's like checking out his stuff and he sees he's creating like this doomsday machine. When all of a sudden Death's Head arrives working for the Time Variance Authority. And his main mission is actually to destroy the Future Foundation. TVA soldiers start raiding the place too. So we get a pretty cool battle between Spider-Man and Death's Head. The interesting thing is that Spider-Man knows who Death's Head is in the first place. It seems that they have crossed paths before. Because I must say this character is a pretty deep cut. And one really cool thing that we get to see in this issue is that the leader of this mission is Ouroboros, that super cool character from the Loki show. I had totally forgotten that this character actually existed in the Marvel Universe and he was in this issue. When season 2 came out of the Loki show, I thought he was just a creation for the show. So the battle is halted to a standstill and, and Ouroboros is trying to explain what's going down and and starts negotiating with Spider-Man and Franklin Richards. And Ouroboros immediately knows that he's not dealing with the real Spider-Man. He almost blows Doc Ock's cover. We get another brief battle, but what ends up happening is Ouroboros tells everyone there, look, we can spare the Future Foundation, but we realized once we were here that Bentley is the problem. If we can only wipe him out of existence, everything is cool. The timeline would be safe because he's not going to create this device. And Franklin actually tells Bentley, look, just don't invent the device, but the timeline stays the same. He's still going to provoke the collapse of the multiverse. So we get this great moment where Spidey slash Doc Ock views a little bit of himself in that little evil mastermind. He knows what makes that kid tick, but what he does, he goes up to him and says something in his ear, and all of a sudden the whole timeline is saved. Or Boris is completely surprised, but the thing is, he leaves with the TVA, and they actually forget Death's Head in the 616 universe. But I guess this has been completely forgotten because I've never seen him pop up in any series. He's such a cool character and there's just a lot of wasted potential there. So I'm going to leave this video here. I hope you guys liked it. See you guys next time. Bye.